Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today I thought we'd do something different. I picked up this compressor and we are going to put it back together and put it under that bench. Somehow. It is a little suspect. So in the UK we have a shop called Machine Mart which is typically stocks Clark products. And this is Machine Mart Tag. And it looks to be Pump Mark 101. So... I'm guessing this is the air pump at £118. I'd imagine this is the whole air pump. So by the looks of it, this has been swapped out at some point. Now I did mention this to the guy and he says he that since the times he since the time he's had it, he's never switched this out. So I'm guessing the guy who bought it off, put this pump on, maybe to sell it. Maybe the pump broke when it was two year old, and the guy put a new pump on and sold it on to the to the new owner, the guy I bought it off. So hopefully if that is true, this does have very little use and the oil that came out, it's a very thick oil, it's probably 100, ISO 100, which is what comes with these pumps from, from stock, from new, from the factory. So that probably is the original oil that came with the pump when it was manufactured. So that's pretty promising. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. One thing I did notice, which is strange, is there's no air filter element. I've got plenty of sponge and foam and stuff laying about, so it's it's literally just a donut, like a, like a rectangular donut, and I'll just put that in place and put this back on and we'll call that done. Uh, the belt. So this is the belt that came with the machine, and this is the belt guard. The air compressor itself is in really good condition. It's got a few scratch, scratches and stuff on it, but Generally, I mean, for a 20 year old compressor, that's pretty good. The belt guard's got some rust, so this has obviously been maybe, maybe the roof was like and above this, um, but it's not too bad. It'll clean up. But the belt, when I first put it on, it was squealing like mad. And as you can see, if you can see it on camera, it's cracks all the way around, and the, the pretty deep cracks, it pretty much goes right through the belt. So this belt is junk. I have a belt in order. It should have been heated today, but it hasn't turned up. So I'm guessing it's a weekend now. So I'm guessing Monday it should arrive. So when that comes, we'll fit the new belt and put the belt guard back on. Okay, so firstly, I'll start by removing this. Uh, while you remove the top and drop the screw in there. So that should be interesting. I'll have to try and get that back up. It's quite simple. It's just literally remove the neutral, the live and the earth cable and pull that through. And this will be separate from the actual the air tank itself and what I'll do is I'll drag this outside and I think it will give it a good blast down get the jet wash on it and get all this dirt and grime off it it's not too bad it's fairly clean but you see all this dirt is built up in here and the, the pump's a bit grubby so just before it goes in place because once this pump is somehow I haven't quite decided yet but I want this to go under there so when that's in place <laughs> apart from oil change and a filter change and a belt after a year or two, there's no reason for this to come back out. So let's get it clean.
okay so we're back inside probably should not have done that on such a windy day but never mind it's all done so it's all cleaned up a lot of you are probably thinking what is the point of cleaning up it's just a compressor or just sit in the corner but this garage is actually attached to my home so i do like to keep things fairly tidy because i do come in here quite a lot it's attached to my house like i say so i don't want oily dirty smelly things knocking about in the garage if i don't have to so i thought i'll give it a good clean because as i say once this is back there in that corner i'll probably never be able to clean it again but at least for the time being it's it's fairly clean there's a bit of rust here and as you see when i drained the tank i got quite a bit of water out which is surprising because i'm sure i checked that when i when i went to view it but there wasn't too much and it was a bit of sludge but that you know as long as as long as I didn't get a bucket full out of it, then we should be okay. It wasn't, the water that did come out was fairly clear. It wasn't rusty or anything, so I think we should be okay. So I think the next step is to, in fact, pull that out. Screwdriver. Yeah, you do not want water going on there. It's all packed. But it's dry, which is the main thing. So the next thing is to get the motor mounted up. So the guy before had to drill new holes. So I'll go back to the original factory ones, which are these ones I'm guessing because the pulleys line up. I put it where he put them. It's totally off. So must be these ones. Yeah, it's nice to go back to the original pump. I, I'm in two minds whether or not this is a different pump. I don't mind if it's a brand new pump as long as it's the same as the pump that was already on it'd be a shame if they had changed it out for some cheap copy pump but like i said i had a machine mark price tag on it so that to me suggests that it was purchased from machine mart so a machine mart's renowned for clark gear so it's i'm assuming that it is actually a clark product just looks a bit Chinese copy looking to it. Looks a bit cheap and cheerful. I mean, this is 20 year old Clark gear. Modern Clark gear, I believe, is Chinese. I don't think Clark use Honda, Honda engines anymore. But back in the day, they sure did. And yeah, to me, it just seems a bit copy looking. It doesn't look official, but as long as it works, I guess. I'm probably just being a bit picky it's just this is something I'll, I'm going to put in the garage and I'll use this for many many years to come I'm not really planning on changing it it's 110 litres so it's not the greatest but it, it should do me for many many years I've had a 50 litre and it's a pain in that especially if you're shop blasting you can get about six minutes of decent shop blasting and then you've got to wait 10 minutes or so for it to fill it back up so it's 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 been a pain but it's it's met my needs so this is more than twice as much so in theory this should be fine 10 15 minutes of shop blast and i'm hoping to get out of this but it's a it's a bigger pump and it's a bigger motor so it and it fills up pretty quick so i shouldn't have to wait the 20 minutes for it to fill back up hopefully this yeah it'll still fit i was a bit concerned Although it was in a different position, the pulley was a different size, I was thinking that might not fit, but that should be fine. So we'll just leave this here for the time being, and hopefully I'll have the belt on Monday, and I'll come back out and we'll finish this off regarding the belt installation and the belt cover and such. So that'll, that'll do for the time being. It's way, way too much to play on that belt, but... It is an old belt, so hopefully it's stretch a bit because I've ordered the same length belt as this. So, in theory, it should be a bit tighter, so that should be okay. But yeah, I think now we'll move on to the electrics. Don't need that anymore because this comes with one. Hopefully, this motor works. I, I think it will. The guy I bought it off seemed really genuine, and I had already agreed to buy it, so you know, he had no reason to lie to me. So, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's actually got a 
clamp here to clamp the cable in. But the top was missing, but I did have I looked around inside here and actually managed to find it deep down inside, so at least I've got that. Let's just go. Yeah, we want that. We don't want water inside of this. I've always fancied a clock compressor, I don't know why. I paid quite a bit for it as well, and I could have got one for well, hundred pound cheaper. It was a little bit small, it was an 8 litre, but it was pretty much brand new, but it was a Wolf brand. And I have a lot of Wolf products, but I don't know, I've always fancied a Clark. So, when it came up, it was fairly close. I thought I'd have that. And yep, I've missed something off. Standard. Now I can't get this back off. I do one at a time because that won't go over there will it of course that needs to go over first followed by the bung we need some screws for that and for the earth there's no screw for some reason strange never mind so We get that to about here, push that in. Oh, it's gonna bug me. Ah, it doesn't matter actually. And get this in like so. This is plastic, so don't use pliers on this. Give you a bad day. Use a set of pliers on that. And there you go, it's fully waterproof. So, I'm going to need a size 7. Let's put that in like that. getting your fat fingers in it here well it is for me so this one here you want these fairly tight as well don't be afraid to over tighten them because you've got to remember this is going to get a lot of vibration and I've got the earth screw from the upper pump which may fit but it looks a bit too long so I want to see if I've got a if I've got another screw, another bolt, sorry, to go into here um, and some screws for this, so I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm back, so I managed to find a, uh, a bolt that will fit. Took some time, small little dinky thing and a little washer, so let's get this earthed up. Nice and tight. I've got some screws as well, so these should yeah, they should be okay for this. I've got the black clip somewhere. Okay, I found it and now I've lost it. Here it is. I mean, it doesn't really need it. Let's face it, it's got this grommet on, but it just finishes off. Like I say it was there, so we'll use it. That is it. Let's get that back in. I'll double check the other wires that are in there just to make sure these are okay. Nice and tight. I've not touched them, but this one may have done. No, they're fine. And that's all on and secure. So. It's time to put the cup back on. And that 
that is it. So you'll see this isn't tightened up yet because there's no point until the bell comes. Should we plug it in, see if it works? It will work, of course it will work. <laughs> Looks a bit suspect, but I'll do it for testing purposes. So, off. And this is where I find out if this pump actually does work because he, said, he says it works, it's gonna work. So that's the Clark motor back on the air compressor. I mean, this technically may not have been used for 18 years, so it's nice to know it still works. We've got a bit of pressure, as you heard. Just trim it off. And yeah, so when the bell comes, we can get this hooked up properly, get the belt on, lined up, make sure this is all tightened down, uh, put the bike belt guard on, uh, oil change, air filter, and get the rest of the stuff wrapped up oh yeah why i'm here this here has <laughs> it has no uh cover so there you go he did give us one the kit he actually gave us quite a few bits he gave us a uh, windy gun and uh, a tire inflator and a few other bits and bobs and fittings and this in part as part of the deal so yeah i think i'll install this now um this is going to go under the bench so i think i'll actually install this on the front so yeah let's get this off move this bung across and put this in place and see if it works i've just unscrewing it it's a shame really because it still works but it hasn't got the cover on if it gets knocked or anything it'll just get damaged and oh, it's broke now yeah it's a shame i haven't got a cover it's actually in really good, good condition Hopefully I can still see it. I could maybe extend this. I've got some piping. Maybe angle it up like this. But I mean, I've, I've got another one of these. I've got one of these in the wall. This will feed into a filter. And the filter's got one. So I could just use that really. So it's not a big deal. But I'll put this one in now. And scrap this one. this up oh you guys but I always put this the wrong way around I think yeah I've actually got it right this time the amount of times I get to the end and realize I went the wrong way basically and you put the table the wrong way around you want to end it so it's going away from the fret like from you know you turn it clockwise to screw it in so you want the tape to follow the same direction if you have it going the other way when you try to screw it in the tape just done unravels itself so usually I do that but in this case I haven't so let's put that on by hand should be to get one full rotation to level it up nice and straight there you go could probably get another turn but i think i think that'll do okay so it's been a few days and the belt has finally arrived and as you can see it's in much better condition uh yeah this one was due to rip apart anytime now so that's finally came in so let's get this installed on the compressor yes yeah, so i can tell just by lining the pulleys up it's a bit off the pump but as you, yeah, that should be okay. We'll get the belt on and we'll line it up. Hopefully it's the right size. So it fits in there nice and snug. Yeah, it should be fine. So let's get this on. There we go. So I'll get myself some the spanners and we'll get this uh, tightened down. 
Okay, so the belt is installed and it seems to be fairly straight. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, both from this side. Yeah. I don't think it's going to get much straighter than that, so that should be fine. Let's, uh, let's measure how much play we've got. Okay, so we're looking for about uh, a half inch. Yeah, it's quite a comfortable half inch. It will stretch a bit when it's running, so that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to check inside here. Just see what's going on, make sure there's no water in there, because it's been jet washed, obviously, so... Make sure it's safe before I run it properly for the first time and that looks to be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they're nice and tight at the bottom. So, I think we'll put this back on and we'll give it a fire up. It's not really necessary, just a, just a bit, just a bit of top end lubrication. It's in the plug. Not in the best condition. <laughs> so we'll fire it up and let it run for a few minutes. I don't want to fill it completely up, but I want to run it enough to heat up the pump because we're going to do an oil change. Right, that should be warm enough, so let's uh, let's drain the oil. So, out with the old and in with the new. So like I was saying before, I do believe this is the original oil that came with the pump. The pump doesn't seem to be too old, so there's no reason why it couldn't be. Like I said, the guy I bought it off. He's not changed the oil, so uh, yeah, could be original oil, but it's finally getting its first oil change, I guess. Oh, right. This is a perfect reason why you should change your oil when it's warm. Now, when I went to see this compressor, I drained the oil out when it was cold because like I said I needed to get in my car and that laid down flat so it was a lot thicker it took a long time to drain out plus it looked fairly clean now obviously I've been running this pump so all the crap has been kicked up in the bottom there and as you can see it doesn't look good at all almost there it's taking some time but it's worth doing you want to get every last drop out really you don't want to leave any of this nasty old oil in the sump so let's finish off draining we'll put the plug back in and fill the back up yeah i'm pretty shocked how bad this oil is it didn't get that bad when it was cold but obviously all the all the debris all the crap was sitting at the bottom because i've run it it's stirred it all up so i'm glad it's out now i think what i'll do is obviously I'm putting fresh oil in now. I would normally do this on a yearly basis. Usually for myself, because I only use it, I don't use them that often. I normally do it kind of after the last night of frost, so it's good for the summer, and it gets me through the winter, and then after that winter, I like to put fresh oil in, so. That's how I would normally do it, but I think in this situation, because the oil is so bad, and I have no idea how long it's been there, how long the oil's been inside this, I reckon I'll put fresh oil in now, and uh, maybe two or three a month, I'll, I'll change it out, and then that way I know that it's had a good flush. But this will do for the time being, and one thing I will note, this hasn't got a side glass, which is a bit frustrating, so I'm going to have to constantly Paw check, paw check, which is a bit of a pain. 
Can you tell the difference? <laughs> I'd imagine. About that. It's kind of in between middle, uh, in between middle, in between min and max. It's pretty close. Tell you what. Put a tiny bit more in. I think what we'll do is just give that a quick run. And see where we're at. Look at that spot on the line. Can you make that out? Absolutely perfect, you're not going to get better than that. So, call the oil, done. So I think the next thing to do is to fill it up to the max and release some air and see if it cuts back in. So there we go, it cuts out at 1.15. So, let's release some pressure and see when it cuts back in. I think it's time that we put this back on. I was going to paint this. I was going to sandblast it and then give it a good paint, but I really don't see the point. So <laughs> no one's going to see it. So this just simply bolts on on the underside. But we have nothing to bolt on the top side. So this pump must be a different pump because there's a notch here, which I would imagine and the other pump would actually notch in to the fan guard. I mean, it's obviously a decent pump. It's made in Italy. It's not like I was saying before. I said you guys, this might be a made in China pump. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, made in Italy, so that's not too bad. I suppose that's actually a screw hole. So I'm guessing whatever this normally fits to. It would have a somewhere to screw that in. Right. So what do we do? So there's actually a hole in this fan guard. <laughs> Will this line up? Also there should be three bolts. I've got two. So we're missing a bolt. That's not a problem. Got plenty of bolts. So you can actually make out this tab here where it's actually rubbing on the paint. Where the silver is. So I wonder if I can drill through that and possibly get a screw or a bolt to go through there. Let's give that a go. Okay, so I've been drilling a lot of steel lately. I picked myself up some new Milwaukee drill bits. So, let's give them a try. And we'll go for a four. To start it off. And you can see where it's actually been rubbing. 
Fair enough. It won't take much to cut through this. So I inspected that hole and it turns out I thought it had threads, but it's not. It actually goes all the way through. So what we'll do is we'll put this on here and we'll pass a ball through and secure that down. And I'm going to put the this side on the inside here. So just to make sure it doesn't touch the, the top of the cylinder. It should pass through and we'll bolt it from the inside. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I can see that bolt completely misses the pulley and that seems fine. The only issue I've got now is this little bit. It's snug. To do is tie up this cable now the guy before me said that this got sucked in to here i mean there's somewhere on the pulley so that, that could have actually been the case so just to make sure this doesn't happen again and there's actually a hole there actually that'll work out quite nicely i was going to cable tie the cable the wire up around here around this return line but I didn't notice that I think I'll actually just attach it here there we go so what I can do now is cable tie this to there and do this one handed Pull that down like so. And there we go. And that's the wire. Tied it up nice and neatly. Air filler. There should be some form in here. It's air filter at the end of the day. But maybe that's why I can't find it. Maybe it's designed, you know, the air comes through these six holes here, kind of hits these baffles and drops any, any debris, I guess, would fall at the bottom and the air sucked through here. But there must be, there should be an air filter, I would have thought. So for the time being, I'm going to make me one out with a sponge and some point down the line, I will get a proper air filter. But for the time being, I'm going to cut this off and put it inside. So that is my attempt at an air filter. So what, we'll cut these corners down. It's not too bad. And put that inside like so. That'll do the job. It's better than nothing until I get the, the correct air filter. Okay, so the belt is installed, the belt guard, the pump has fresh oil, it has a ghetto air filter installed, the original pump is back on, everything seems to be tightened down and basically ready to go. So I think now is a good time to fill the tank from empty and we'll time it and see how long it takes. <laughs> Yeah, it was 3 minutes and 33 seconds before 
it's warm to the touch but it's a lot better before it was you, you couldn't really even it was super hot you couldn't really touch it so it's running a lot cooler and i'm guessing that's because it's taking that little bit extra time to fill it up because it's not spinning as fast so in the long run yeah it might take an extra 10 15 seconds to fill from empty but if it means the pump's gonna last a little bit longer then i'm all for that i mean what's t what's 10 15 seconds and to be fair once it's full and it runs back down it'll take a matter of a minute or so to fill it back up so yeah i'm really happy with that i'm going to keep this on for the time being and obviously get a new air filter in fact that actually could be a factor so i reckon when i get this fully installed we should run this test again without the air filter in this could be well yeah it makes sense wouldn't it that'll be slowing down the fill time so i think when we get this installed we'll take this off and try again but for the time being i'm really happy with that okay so we've got to the point now where the air compressor can quite easily slide in i've kept this section here i'm obviously going to have to run some timber down down here at the front and attach this and then run some timber across the front to finish it off put some trim on and some plywood <laughs> it's not much of a storage area but the air compress is taking up quite a lot of my storage area and underneath and on top yeah, i'll probably fit two two small boxes on there so or maybe the, the welder can go back up here and uh, maybe me oil items me oil drip tray and me funnels and stuff anything i use for oil changes is in tub so that actually might go back under there so yeah i think i'll i'll continue to use this space and just have this for the air compressor so let's get the air compressor in there and see how it fits up oh yes this pipe here this is what feeds my air compressor so this actually goes outside and on the other side of this wall is a large shed and the air compressor is inside and this is the power for the air compressor so i can remove this and i'll just cut this off here and i'll go through to the shed and just pull the remains through because this is the part that will be hooking up to the air compressor inside i have no idea what these are from i found them in my stash but these these should work yeah these should work for the bottom of the air compressor basically the air compressor is quite low to the ground and you can buy vibrating mounts to screw onto the bottom there's something like this just and imagine the rubber be a lot thicker than these there's not really that much there to stop the vibration but i think it'll just add some height and when draining the fluid from the bottom of the tank i think these may help so i'm gonna put these on now and then slide the compressor into its place And there we go guys, the compressor is installed and fully working. So as you can see, I've attached the airline hose to the actual frame of the bench and it comes round and hooks into the outlet of the tank. And the electrics, as I've shown you guys, is fed up across the top, under the bench, and then into the switch at the top. So flicking that switch that you can see just there will turn the compressor on. Saying what am I doing? Because this will deteriorate and get sucked into the pump. Don't worry. I bought some some of the proper stuff and I've cut it down to size and that's being put into the air filter so air filter is good to go. And for those of you that are interested, this is the oil that I took out of the pump it's not too bad considering how long it's probably been in the pump it's pretty fair to be fair there's nothing nothing alarming i've checked if there are any metallic particles and there is nothing it's just this milky compressor oil which you know it's quite quite common especially if the air compressor is only turned on and you know it's filled up and then it's used and turned off you do kind of get this kind of texture going on in the oil because it's obviously not getting hot enough to evaporate all the water so it just sits in the oil but yeah i'm pretty happy with that that's that's perfectly fine
Okay, so I think that about does it for this video. It's, it's went on for long enough, I believe. And yeah, the project is done. The compressor is fully in place and it is fully working and I'm very happy with the results. And I'm, I'm just glad to have a decent size capacity compressor that can, you know, meet my needs. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this kind of content, then please do check out my channel. I do have other videos on similar projects and also subscribe while you're there if you don't mind and you'll be notified of any upcoming videos that I release. So yeah, in the meantime guys, take care and I'll see you later.